Well, I was mainly talking about that this has allowed Nadia to have just a wealth of information, um, that she has come home energized, she's excited about the opportunities. Um, she's always known that you know college could exist for her, but to know that there is something that's here within the community that can help her to achieve her goals is just for us as parents just instrumental. And I thank Dr. Brinson and Pinellas County for allowing something like this to take place within our community. Thank you. And Nadia, we've had a chance to talk a little bit today. Mm -hmm. And then uh, let's talk a little bit about the 101. How, how did that work for you? How did that conversation go? Um, it helped me like look past state schools for um, mm -hmm. when I apply to colleges and look more in private schools. There's a lot more um, information and opportunities that might not be available, plus a lot of scholarship opportunities. Like I looked at um, diversity weekends for different schools after our 101, and I saw a lot of different opportunities, and I'm going to apply to some Okay, so today. let's talk a little bit about that, the diversity weekends. When you and I began talking, you had two schools identified, yeah. <laughs> and I asked you to go back and find 18 more. <laughs> How, how much further did you get down the list? Um, I had about five more. There was um, Wesleyan, Tufts, uh, University of Richmond, Williams College. I forgot what the fifth one was, but I found like a bunch of uh, um, schools that I was interested in. And you'd already identified Amherst College as one of the ones. Mm -hmm. Does Swarthmore make the list? Oh, yes, yeah, that was the fifth one. <laughs> okay, in order to attend the Swarthmore, you have to be nominated. Mm -hmm. So would you like to be nominated? Yes. <laughs> You have to send me an email tonight okay. with your birth date mm -hmm. because I have to include that in the nomination. Mm -hmm. um, so, Mom, what do you think of hearing about schools being on her list now that she had never even talked about before? I think it's awesome. I'm, when I'm listening to you name some of the schools that she's continuously getting just information bombarded with letters and that the possibility, most of the time I discard those because they're so far away. And when I think about in-state tuition versus out-of-state tuition, that I just didn't think it was reality for us um, or a possibility for us. And um, hearing that you're encouraging her to apply to those schools as out-of-state well, is like just to know what you think she awesome. said. Uh, one of the so, schools that we asked her to look into is Bates College, which is in Maine. And I asked her if she would be willing to go to school in Maine if they offered her a full ride. What do you think she said? She said yes. And what would you say? I would say yes. Well, um, okay. I know I always, I'm so conscious about like my test scores, my GPA, because I never thought they were good enough. And I was like surprised when you said my test scores were good. So I was like, really? <laughs> so it was nice hearing that and nice um, seeing that I have a possibility of getting into these schools with my scores and GPA. Okay. Um, anything else that resonates with you? Was there a single video that stood out in your mind more than any other video? Um, listening to the um, My Story videos about the, um, the personal statements, it was really impactful, like hearing the, um, how earnest their words were and um, how much effort and thought they put into it and how it helped them get into the schools. It was really insightful. And the Amherst College video where the admission officer said that a student had three B minuses in one <laughs> semester, 10th grade, and that, that pretty much sunk it for that student. Was that surprising? Um, I mean, I'm used to my classmates talking about how um, they get one B and it's going to ruin their um, college lives. So it, w it was kind of like surprising, kind of like a nightmare come true, <laughs> seeing that it can actually happen. It was a smile. Okay. It was a smile and a confidence of what I saw in her mainly. Um, just her talking in very en enthusiastic way about just her experiences. Every afternoon when she's in the car, I was like, okay, what did you guys cover today? What did you cover today? And she just would go on and on. Um, and when she started talking about the schools out of state, um, that, that's, was, that is the thing that was most surprising about the diversity weekends and about the possibility. Because we've, looked, we've talked about out of state schools, North Carolina, and um, she's been visiting lots of states and stuff, but haven't really toured any campuses. And so she has had an opportunity to, um, to tour um, Duke and most just about all the schools here in Florida. Um, so I guess I just got to put some more gas in my car and <laughs> hit some more of those schools in a couple of weeks. So. so what do you think, uh, and this is to both of you, about the idea that we may be able to work with students 
over the course of the school year, to con continuing to guide them through the process and uh, to ensure that they all have high quality college application packages. I think it's essential um, because especially um, in, I mean, you know, Nadia's, we, you know, we've impressed upon her that going from a junior year going to a senior year is the most important time. So I think students need that assurance. Um, they need someone to sort of like hold their hands uh, with just the application process, the acceptance process, um, navigating through financial aid, um, all those things. I mean, because um, we're so far removed from it. I haven't had to fill out a financial aid packet in a very long time. So by her having someone who's familiar with knowing the ins and outs of it, I think that would be instrumental for any student who is going into their senior year and making one of the most important decisions that they have to going into the adult, their adult years. So. And Nadia, what do you think about this not being the last time that you're going to see my wife and I? Um, I think is I really going to benefit from having it um, year round, with, like especially with the college application processes, and um, having someone read my essays and seeing if they're um, good fit or what I need to add, and. Um, just for the whole like reassurance, like what mom said about having someone hold my hand through the process. It'll be really awesome. Very good.